Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. The novel Robinson Crusoe tells the story of a young Englishman who was shipwrecked and cast away on a remote tropical island for 28 years. Actually, the story is based on the true life events of Alexander Selkirk, who was a Scottish castaway and who uh, survived for four years on a Pacific island. Some say the story is based on Henry Pittman, a political rebel surgeon who was a castaway from a Caribbean penal colony. And this tale has full of adventure features about cannibals, captives and mutineers. Some also say that this is the first modern novel written in the English language. Daniel Defoe published Robinson Crusoe on April 25th, 1719 under the original title which will even cover a full page. The title goes like this. The Life and Strange Surprising Adventures of Robinson Crusoe of York, Mariner, who lived 8 and 20 years all alone in an uninhabited island on the coast of America near the mouth of the great river of Urnuku, having been cast on shore by shipwreck, wherein all the men perished but himself, with an account how he was at last a stranger delivered by pirates. So this is the original title and uh, this since this is a very la long title, many started addressing this novel as Robinson Crusoe and that is the name we know this novel by now. The story goes like this, Robinson Crusoe, against his parents' wishes, went to the sea. And whenever he went to the sea, he'll get caught in violent storms in the sea. So the captain warned him that he should not be a seafaring man because he is never lucky when he is uh, taking a voyage in the sea. Now, Crusoe was ashamed to go back home, so he boarded another ship and he returned successfully from Africa because he was able to make a lot of money. Now, again when he tried to travel, by bad luck, he was taken a prisoner in Sally. Now, the people who captured him sent him out to fish. And he made use of this opportunity and escaped along with another slave. And while he was escaping, he was saved by a Portuguese ship and there he started a new adventure. He landed in Brazil and after some time, through hard work, he became the owner of a sugar plantation. At that time, he came to know that people were going to Africa and capturing the Africans and selling them as slaves and through that you can make a lot of money. So, he aligned himself with other planters, planters and along with them, he went took a trip to Africa to bring a lot of slaves and make a living. But what happened is, as usual, his ship met with a storm and it got shipwrecked. Crusoe along with others were thrown upon the shore and only after some time he discovered that he was the only one who survived after the wreck. Now since he was alone in the island, he made immediate plans for the basic facilities like food and shelter and protection from wild animals. So whatever was possible, all the available things from the wrecked ship, he brought it there and he kept along with him because he knew that he will need all of them sooner or later. In addition to whatever he had from the wrecked ship, he started developing talents which will help him to provide him with the basic necessities need to live there alone. Since he was cut away from the company of men, he started talking directly to God and this is perhaps the first beginning of his religious conversion. He started believing in God and trusted him and he took him as his soulmate. And in order to maintain his sanity, he also started to entertain himself and he started writing a journal where he recorded each and every task which he performed each day from the day he got marooned there. As time passed, Crusoe became a skilled craftsman and he was able to construct many useful things and also to furnish himself with lots of comforts. He also learned about farming since he saw some seeds which he had along with them. One day he fell ill and in that he had some prophetic dreams and he started thinking that God was telling him certain orders. So he started exploring his island and soon discovered that another part of the island was more rich and more fertile. So he built a summer home there. And one of the first tasks he undertook was to build himself a canoe because he thought that will help him to escape from that island. 
but only after constructing he found that it was too heavy for him to take it to the water so he constructed a small boat and he used to travel around the island in this boat and that was his favorite pastime and soon crusoe started thinking about his earlier life where he was a very wicked uh, uh, person who disobeyed his uh, parents and wondered uh, maybe this is the uh, cause why he is being isolated in the island here like this he passed nearly 15 years all alone in that island and after 15 years one day he saw a man's naked footprint and after seeing that he was not able to sleep at all because he did not know who that person was and he wanted to safeguard himself from him and after that he was extra precautious so that he will not be attacked by an intruder after some time to his horrified a uh, sense he found some human bones scattered near the shore he knew that he was in danger so he explored the uh, island and he understood that they were cannibals living there now he did not know what to do because he knew that cannibals are ones who will eat the other human beings and he was not that strong enough to fight them and he was very very cautious for several years so he found a cave where he can be safe and also store all his things there there in that place and in the same year in the month of december he saw some cannibals sitting around a campfire and after that he did not see them for some time but later he saw a ship in distress but he came to know that there were no one living in the ship since everyone had drowned however whatever was left in that wrecked ship he took all the provisions with him because that will be useful for him and after some time he noticed some of the cannibals landing in the island and actually they had a victim along with them crusoe saved the victim who was under the uh, cannibals and since he saved him on a friday he named the victim as friday because the victim did not know his name and he also taught him english and uh, he taught him so many skills so this friday became a devoted slave to crusoe Now Crusoe and Friday made plans to leave the island so they built another boat and Crusoe also undertook Friday's religious education and he converted this savage into a protestant but their voyage was postponed because they saw a few savages returning to the island and this time they could not think about escaping from the island because among the prisoners two people one a white man who was a spaniard and another was friday's father was among them and now they took the responsibility of saving them from these cannibals and somehow they managed they planned and they saved friday's father and the spaniard now the four of them knew that they alone cannot fight along with these cannibals so they thought that friday's father and spaniard they have to go to the mainland and bring some more people so that they can rescue the remaining 16 uh, spaniards but before they could bring some more men they had to have enough food supply and other things needed for the extra people so they prepared everything and soon crusoe and friday agreed to wait on the island while friday's father and the spaniard went and brought back the other men after a week they saw a ship but they understood that there was a mutiny on the board so crusoe and friday went there and they rescued the captain and the two other men after much scheming and they got control over the ship the captain was so grateful to crusoe that he gave him so many gifts and he also took him and friday back to england but they left all some of the rebel crew men in this island alone Now Crusoe returned to England and found that in his absence he had become a wealthy man. And after going to Lisbon to handle some of his affairs, Crusoe became began an overland journey back to England. Now Crusoe and his company men encountered many hardships in crossing the mountains, but somehow they safely arrived at England. They Crusoe sold his plantation in Brazil for a good price. He got married and he had three children. and finally after a long time he had to take another voyage and there he visited his old island where there were promises of new adventure to be found in a later account and this is how defo ends the novel it's a very interesting novel if you have anything more to add on to what i've said 
please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you